We are live from Atlanta, Georgia's Dirty South Dome. And I noticed they've cleaned this place up a bit. Yeah, I remember finding a lot more seven fingers in my chili last time. And there were fewer bodies to step over in the men's room. Place is kind of losing its character. I miss the shit sandwiches. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? Well, I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. And like Bricks' vows, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. And this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second and three. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. The deep. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First and ten. He can't keep a good meat back, my friends. Was an all pro NFL head. <laughs> and it's first and ten. 
And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to be good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score he's at the 10 the defense is on its heels great run on that play and if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers <laughs> well there's your answer bricks i know i hate those zebra men The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down and forever. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like this. He's not going down. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Man, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Hot one. Third down and never going to happen. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Hunter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Man, thought they oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a second there. Second down and ten. Third down and long. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to play some bat. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. 
He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get him. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot three. Brain scrambler. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the freight cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. And that'll bring up second and one. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And no way dirty freak is always good for an easy kill. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Or dead. Or worse. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Except maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Harder than that. And that is unfortunate.
unfortunate. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will get it on the 20. And it's first and 10. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Glenn, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Oh, at least they could pee for me, too. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Third and two. The Royd Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the creation of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. <laughs> Trust me, very different. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this pass for me. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Glenn? Uh, this guy in the field. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grip, but it keeps coming back to him. You want dirt and some fun on your time. Second down and long. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff.
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. threatened to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First and eight to go. <laughs> you can be kids. Do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potatoes. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he laterals at the last second. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! And they line up for the extra point. impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful.
keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Second and three. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow him. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing. With a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. First down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. That's a four yard gain. Third and two. First and ten. throw it and catch it too third down and the offense needs a miracle he picks up nine yards on that catch quarter three comes to an end but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic, Bricks. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile, and the defense goes for the juggler. And now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Well, that play didn't work. We'll have to rethink that. Third down and long. There was an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the MFL. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> First and ten. Second down and long. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. First down of seven. Second down and nine. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Either way, they're going for two. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. I can't feel the momentum shifting. 
for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. quarterback you have to take risks and just chuck the ball oh he just got crushed and it's first and ten that run is good for nine yards bring up second and one and then a first down from a great catch was it a catch though let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out first down and three Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sitters then. The kick is good. Well, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd... They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Yeah, uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Pass down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real... And that's the last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them... First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole! Hey, asshole, up here! Talking to you! He caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone! Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The kicker 
is going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. <laughs> The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and three. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second and three. The Vultures limp away defeated. Yeah, they look so sad, Grim. I kind of feel sorry for them. They deserve a participation award. Screw those boys. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chip dicks? Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not.